Welcome, my friends, to uh, Helix Bright Star. I'm doing a review of XSplit Broadcaster while streaming to Twitch. And I hope that some of my friends from Twitter and some of my friends from Facebook have joined me. This will be a short deal. I won't make it a long one. Because I also am going to do or be reviewing XSplit Gamecaster as well. But I won't be reviewing the side of that for Twitch. I'll just be doing uh, the review for that one for um, capturing my screen on PC game. Which I also have this game on PC as well as on uh, PlayStation 3, which is where I'm playing it now. Let's see what Alfred has to say. Oh, you won't believe this. What's wrong? The GCPD have actually asked me to stop calling in so often. Apparently, you're taking down criminals faster than they can be processed. And you wonder why I don't have faith in the cops. Well, to be fair, sir, you have been on a mission tonight. So in this game, it's, uh, it's Christmas Eve, and Bruce Wayne is uh, on the hunt, as it were, for... Uh, Let's see, you have the people that are hunting him, the uh, assassins that uh, somebody pretending to be Black Mask, as it's turned out so far, has uh, sent against him. And he is trying to investigate and figure out who is impersonating Black Mask because... Previous to this point in the game, we found out that uh, Black Mask was killed by the person now um, impersonating him. Let's see what we got here. So now it's just the decision of where to go. Escape the GCPD. But I already did that. Maybe I didn't get off the building in time. So let's see, where is the GCPD? I do not remember. But one of the things about this game, as opposed to Arkham, uh, City and Arkham Asylum is sometimes it's not real clear where you need to go. We'll go to the Bowery. Sometimes it's not clear where to go. So it's like you're doing the missions and you kind of figure it out as you go. And they do show you sometimes the main missions, but like I said, it's not as you just start the map and go see it. Now maybe I missed it. I was trying to hurry and not make this very long. Right. Where to go? Your counters. I'm coming for you. In this game, your counters are important. Because they're gonna come at you with bats, they're gonna throw things at you, they're gonna shoot you. All sorts of things. Uh, 
sometimes you get into streaks where you're hitting them, but you have to be careful they don't hit you, otherwise you lose your streak. You see that counter, it says X9, X10. Well, I just lost it because I wasn't looking. So if you, like, stray a little bit, it'll uh, that counter will go away. But that's a combo counter, which uh, builds up points towards you being able to upgrade your, uh, your bat suit, your gear, things like that. So as you see, the sound of the game, the, uh, the sound of my voice and my commentary, it all comes... It all comes pretty good. There's some settings that I had to change. I had to figure out because nobody had uh, nobody had seemed to know it. I guess. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Which I don't know why. Okay. In order to fix the setting for the game audio <clears throat> to record with your commentary, uh, you click on the tools menu to drop down, you click on general settings, and you click on the general tab. And on the left hand side, you check mark the little box where it says Win XP Sound. That's what allows you to record the game's audio along with your commentary. And then if you look up in the upper right hand corner of this dialog box here, it says Enable Optimize Render check mark that also because that helps with the quality of the whole recording okay now to enable your uh, XSplit broadcaster to save your stream that you're streaming t to twitch or wherever to your hard drive you come here and you click on in the, uh, the bottom left hand corner check mark the little box that says automatically save recordings on local drive and that's it we're in trouble Let's take him out. But uh, I figured it out. I'm gonna regret this. And I'll in my review, I'm gonna I'll do some screenshot stuff where I show where it is, what you do, how to do, and all that. So if you're stuck in that as you're watching this video, or this segment of my review oh, man. from the XSplit software, oh, you'll uh, you'll get to see that. It's pretty simple. Uh. It's just not obvious. So now I gotta remember how to get down there. This should do it. These guys with these knives, they have a different defense. See? They have a different defense. You have to use your combos to beat them. Uh, cape stun is real important too. Because they don't have the uh, weaknesses for some reason. Some of these guys do. He can't take us all. I guess they're like, they have a heavier body armor. Let's see, I can hit him and make him drop his knife, but uh, he's gonna pick it right back up. Just like with the guns, when these guys are shooting guns and you knock the gun out of their hand, they're gonna pick it back up, or someone else is gonna pick it up. And these guys that are heavily armored like this guy, you have to use combos to beat them. Because the regular punches don't do a whole lot to them. Sometimes you can get up to like 14. See, I got 12 there. And I didn't do the special combo because I was burning them out. I got 13, so if I'd have done the special combo, I probably would. Probably would have given me more, but you know, whatever. It's not important. At this point, I mean, for the purpose of this video. Alright, that door 
that's locked. Okay, for the detailed review, or semi-detailed review, whatever, um, the cons are while streaming, it only saves my stream to my hard drive in FLV, which I had to use something else, another program to convert it from uh, FLV to MP4 for my Sony Movie Studio 13 Platinum. That's okay, I've solved that, that's not a big deal. And the other thing is the game audio. At first, I had a very hard time getting the game audio to work because it was uh, there was a setting which I earlier in this video I addressed. So that problem has been solved, and I demonstrated how I did it. Now to the pros, it works very well with my Elgato Game Capture HD uh, card with the correct configuration. It does real good. Uh, you just have to configure it properly. XSplit software does not hog my system, and that goes for XSplit Broadcaster and XSplit Gamecaster as well. I'm very, very happy with it. I have more system resources available, so my stream is a higher quality, whereas the Elgato software greatly reduced the quality of my streaming, which really sucks. Another thing that's a pro uh, broadcaster is that it allows me to announce to my different uh, media that I'm connected to when I'm about to stream. And that's it, man. It's a great program. I highly recommend it.